Hi, my name is Jace Monemini. I am the co-owner of Pride Fighting Academy and a um, professional MMA fighter currently contracted to EFC Worldwide. So we're currently in Pride Fighting Academy, which is my gym that I co-own with my husband. And we've been here for 21 years. Um, I've been involved for the last five years and it's been really amazing to grow um, a female-centric kind of space in those last five years. So when I first started, it was very much male-dominated and as I've been uh, coaching and really trying to push the um, female influence or female interest rather in MMA, there's been a really good growth. Yeah, I'm super excited. So the fight is scheduled for the 2nd of March. It was meant to go down in December, but due to injury, it was delayed. So I'm excited to be back on the 2nd of March fighting for a strawweight uh, title. And when I win, I will be the first Cape Tonian title holder who's a female. So I'm yeah. super pumped for that. And I'm feeling good, I'm 100% and I'm, I'm really excited to put on a show on the 2nd of March. So M2 Bio is hugely passionate about athletes and about the mixed martial arts space. So it was a you know, no brainer for us to look at doing a collaboration with them. We're just as interested in athlete health as M2 Bio is. And so yeah, they will be working with myself as an athlete as well as um, collaborating with the gym. We're looking to retail quite a lot of the CBD infusion products that M2 Bio um, has put together and just basically working together as a collaboration to ensure the overall better health of, um, of athletes and members of the gym. I think combat sports is very much a little, bit, a little bit behind in Cape Town compared to the other provinces. And that is something that was being rectified pre-2020, pre-COVID. We had a couple of grassroots events and amateur events that were kind of feeding the, uh, the pro scene. But since COVID, it just seemed like a lot of those organizations weren't able to continue to make it. Sponsorship fell off, that kind of thing. And we've just kind of fallen behind. So often what we find is when our Cape Town um, amateur athletes are coming up against guys from Johannesburg or Durban, they've just got a lot more experience. And so that's something that we're slowly starting to try to rectify now this year by starting to get those grassroots events back up. So our hope is to put on grassroots events that, you know, no frills, no, no big, um, necessarily big stage, but just about getting our athletes, our young up and coming athletes to get that experience in so that they can get enough fights. And obviously those that are wanting to go pro then have that experience and have the wins behind them that they can enter into an organization like EFC. I find that um, a lot of our athletes in general in this country are not very knowledgeable about nutrition um, and the important things that need to go inside your body in order for you to perform optimally. So whether it's just getting the right nutrients in, whether it's making sure that you're supplementing in the right way. I think what Empty Bio is doing really well is, is not only providing great supplements for their athletes um, that are easy to consume in a food type of source, but they're also providing a lot of education and information to athletes so they can make better choices down the line. Ultimately, we use the analogy of a car, and if you, you know, you wouldn't put petrol into a diesel car, it's the same thing. So you can't expect your engine to perform optimally if you're not putting the right ingredients inside of it. Um, look, I think for me it has been a long journey and it hasn't been an, an easy one, overcoming uh, obstacles such as addiction, um, coming back from um, you know having two kids and only getting into this later in my life. I think the the encouragement that I'd like to kind of send to other women is that anything, whether it's MMA and fighting or whether it's a different goal, anything that you're truly passionate about that you want to pursue, it's all within your reach as long as you're willing to put that work in. And if it's something that really means a lot to you, you'll find the time. Um, I'm here with my kids at quarter to five in the morning and we leave here at 8 p.m. at night. So it's, you know, it's difficult when you have a family and a full-time job, but pursuing this um, this path of, of wanting to be a, an EFC champion isn't something that comes easy. So you've got to find the time to put the work in. Yeah.